Thanks for tuning everyone. Um, I have the pleasure of meeting Mr. Steve Gupta today. Uh, one of the most humble personalities in real estate in Toronto you're ever going to uh, come across. Mr. Gupta, it's a pleasure to meet you today. Thank you and, very much. Uh, Thank please, you. just a little background of how you started, what you have done, because as an immigrant coming to a country of opportunities, it's very, very difficult. And what you have achieved in your lifetime is someone can't even dream of. Well, you can dream, and that make, they, they always say that you can dream, but uh, no dreams come true until you get out and work, mm -hmm. and work hard. And that's what exactly what I did. And people say that you can, uh, oh, he's lucky, he got a lottery. And it does, nothing works like that. Lotteries exactly. come maybe once in a while, you can win $50 million, but it doesn't last too long. When you earn from your hard work, that money stays with you. And, and uh, build integrity, build respect, and that's what I did. The only thing I did different, I'm no different than any of our um, Indian uh, people who come from India, Pakistan, or any of the other areas, uh, South Asians. But the difference is that how much you put in it, how much mm -hmm. effort you put into there. I always say I've condensed over 100 years of work in the past 30, 35 years. Mm -hmm. but basically what I'm trying to say is I use every second, every minute of my time and put in real good work and do a lot of research and hard work with a passion. I don't have to work, but I want to work because it's uh, inspiring, it's a sense of accomplishment for me and also creating and building something for me, my family, and also for for the country. I feel that even though we are Indians, we are Canadians first, Canada has been really good Definitely, to us yes. and has given all immigrants a lot here. A lot mm -hmm. of opportunity Canada has provided us, and so we should respect that and, and, and uh, do our job by creating the jobs, paying the taxes, and that's what I did. The project we have done, and I want to make sure it's better than everybody else in the industry, Definitely. in that caliber. You can go and put gold fossils, you can spend uh, billions of dollars, but m not too many people can afford that. That's true. And uh, so what we do within that class, we excel. Mm -hmm. Even in our hotels, every hotel in its class of Marriott or Hilton are a award winning hotel. And the reason is we follow excellence, we under promise, over deliver. And same thing we're doing in condominium, we're bringing our, our, our experience of hotel, hospitality industry and mm -hmm. trying to give people what they lack. We, we say our hotels are home away from home. Definitely. And yeah. people feel good. And you'll find the quality, you'll find the finishes, you'll find the design is second to none mm -hmm. in our buildings. And there's no doubt because King Blue Condos was one of the hottest sells when it launched. Absolutely. And uh, again, the finishes and everything, the prices, the location, it was just spectacular. And same thing, I can say because we've sold Dundas Square Gardens till now and it's been absolutely amazing. And speaking of which, you know, um, I know obviously how to tackle my clients, tell them why Dundas Square Gardens is amazing. Well, let me ask you this, why, why Dundas Square Gardens? I'll tell you a number of reasons. Number one, always a real estate location, location, location. You have to find the best location. There's a location closer to Young and Dundas, Dundas Square, mm -hmm. Eaton Center three, four minutes walk from, from this. Street car is right on the corner. Mm -hmm. It's a great side with three street frontages. And number two, uh, excellent looking building with five rooftop gardens, 16,000 square foot of gardens. Yes. We call these condominiums with a backyard. And what we have created something totally different, infinity pool and a pool like a beach. You don't mm -hmm. step down into the pool, you walk down, walk down into the pool. Right. And there are a lot of other features, sky lobby, and the value of the condo here, we try to price our condos, as you know, uh, I say 30 to $50 a foot less than what market could mm -hmm. have absorbed. But we felt that I want to give my buyers the best value in the area. Right. So location, the value, the design, and delivery. And we will do all those four. And the other reasons are market is strong, interest rates are low. Uh, Rent controls are there. No rental buildings have been built since right. 1976. And we have over 100,000 immigrants come every year into mm -hmm. Toronto alone. 250,000 or 240,000 come in all over Canada. So I think all these features make real estate much better. And if you compare uh, Toronto's prices per square foot, 
condo prices with anywhere any of the major cities in the oh, world yes. they are much lower especially in New York Chicago and, absolutely you know, even even Bombay or Delhi you'll find them much cheaper exactly here. and so that's why it's a great value every year construction prices go up by seven percent minimum mm -hmm. and up to ten percent sometimes mm -hmm. so you'll you'll gain seven percent appreciation in three four years by the time building is built yep. and then we have St. Michael's Hospital close by Ryerson next door George yes. Brown just a few blocks down on Queen Street and uh, you, you can't ask for exactly Sup and super location and super value definitely speaking of Ryerson I really want to shed light on your contribution to Ryerson University because there are not a lot of builders who you know give back to the community as much as you guys have done we, like I said before, we always like to give back to our community where we work. And I feel that uh, Ryerson is a university of passes. A lot of people, underprivileged people or students go there. I want to help them and that's what will help. This will set some bursaries, this money mm -hmm. that we have given. I usually don't like to talk about how much money was given. No, <laughs> Somehow it was in the paper so people know. But I think it's important for for uh, the students to take advantage and they can finish their studies hopefully right. someday they can re reciprocate and give back to Ryerson and it's a great university and uh, now it's coming really really strong they got over 31,000 or 35,000 students mm -hmm. right now. where do you think the market's going to go in the next two three years especially the rental condo market well, or the I tell you 100 percent the market is going very very strong and it will continue strong for many reasons number one all the G8 or G7 countries their deficits are really skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. Look look at the US. They cannot afford to increase the interest rates because they won't be able to afford their own debt. Exactly. And that's one reason. Number two is the world economy is such that uh, interest rates will remain low now. These this will become the normal interest rate. Mm -hmm. It may go up quarter point, half a point, right. maybe two or three times. But what is it going to make quarter point every two or three times every six months? Mm -hmm. so you're talking about three quarters of a point. If you have a hundred thousand more, it's seven hundred fifty dollars in a year. Exactly. So it's not very much. So this is why it's important. Toronto, Canada. I can tell you, forty years ago, a condo or a house in downtown Toronto you could buy for fourteen thousand dollars. I'm talking about detached, small, fourteen foot lot yes. house. Today that is eight hundred thousand, two million dollars. Same house. Exactly. So real estate values go up, and downtown prices have to go up and they mm -hmm. go because that's where the urbanization is happening. People from 905 are coming and staying in Toronto. The mm -hmm. reason being they cannot afford to spend the time on commuting. Definitely. Three hours a day, uh, both sides, one, one and a half hour. And this is why it's important. That's why condominiums are built uh, in downtown Toronto. And I can tell you the sky is the limit. Still, it's a big city. Mm -hmm. And 20 years from now, the the population of Toronto is going to grow to 9.9, 9.3 million. Definitely, and the way, like you mentioned, you know, uh, I just want to say something. It's when you buy real estate, you know, people are always about flipping condos and making the quick buck. Instead, what I always tell my clients is keep your real estate because if you take care of your real estate, your real estate is going to take care of you. And, I, I agree. And, and, and that's what it is. It's not real, about real the estate. Real estate is a hedge against inflation. Real estate mm -hmm. is very important to have. And, and uh, selling and rolling over, buying something bigger, there's nothing wrong with that. I've done it many times. But at the same time, if you look back, mm -hmm. sometimes it's better to hold on to that, borrow Most against definitely. it, and then go and buy uh, yes. some more and, uh, and uh, treasure it and keep it and then make your inventory bigger and th that way you you have a bigger real estate portfolio is a lot easier to handle yes um, more units than than one unit yeah and because it's almost the same time of effort that you have to put in if you have mm -hmm. the five units in one building against one you go there once and you do five units i could agree That's more yeah. yeah definitely thank you very much sir it's been a You're pleasure very welcome and pleasure. uh and there you go guys good luck to all of you and uh, thank you very much thanks for tuning in and uh we'll uh, catch back later